Hey Star Trek fans, Dan Gunther here. Welcome to another week in Trek. This week we have some exciting news regarding viewing numbers for Discovery's final season and a new role for Discovery star Michelle Yeoh. But this week we start with Star Trek receiving a prestigious honor. Uh, are you telling me that no one from the Federation read my reports? If I don't send them, they don't read them. What about freedom of the press? Please, tell me you're not that naive. Since 1940, the Peabody Awards have represented one of the highest honors for media with their mission to shine a light on stories that matter. On May 9th, the Peabody Awards Board of Jurors announced the 34 winners for this year. The Star Trek franchise as a whole is being honored with the Institutional Award. From the text of the announcement, the Board of Jurors had this to say about Star Trek. From a groundbreaking television series to an expansive collection of films, novels, comic books, and so much more, Star Trek has been delivering joy, wonder, and thought-provoking stories since the 1960s. With powerful anti-war and anti-discrimination messages, it has blazed trails for all science fiction franchises while winning over passionate fans across the globe. We're proud to honor Star Trek with Peabody's Institutional Award. Along with the announcement came this fun tweet from the Peabody Awards with some lovely things to say about the franchise we all know and love. I'm thrilled for Star Trek to be receiving this sort of recognition. To see the things that I love about Star Trek being echoed by a prestigious body such as the Peabody Awards in some ways serves to validate my love of Star Trek. Congratulations to everyone who has helped make Star Trek what it is today. This award is very well deserved. For the first few years of streaming television, there was no real way to determine the audience of a given show, at least for members of the general public. Certainly, the content producers were not keen on releasing that information. Now, however, longtime television viewing tracker Nielsen tracks many streaming shows and provides viewership numbers. Since 2023, they have reported on Paramount Plus shows, and in that time, Season 3 of Star Trek Picard and Season 2 of Strange New Worlds both regularly cracked the top 10 most viewed shows while they were being released. Now, a third Star Trek show has joined their ranks as Star Trek Discovery has found itself in the top 10 list for the week of April 8th to 14th. This was the first full week following the debut of Season 5 with the episodes Red Directive and Under the Twin Moons. We'll be keeping an eye on these numbers to see if Discovery continues to make its way onto the Nielsen Top 10 charts for subsequent weeks, but this is certainly great news for Paramount and for Star Trek Discovery. And finally, Michelle Yeoh has once again made the news this week as she has been recently announced to have a role in the upcoming Blade Runner television series. Blade Runner 2099 is set after the recent film, Blade Runner 2049, which was itself a sequel to 1982's Blade Runner, which was based on the Philip K. Dick novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Variety reports that Yo has been cast as a character named Olwen, whom they describe as a replicant who is near the end of her life. Star Trek fans are of course looking forward to seeing her back in that universe as Philippe Georgiou in the upcoming film Star Trek Section 31, set to be released on Paramount Plus sometime in the near future. Filming for Section 31 wrapped in March and we are all eagerly awaiting news of a release date for the film. Sometimes I think you North Americans read nothing but comic books and those ridiculous science fiction novels. The ongoing Star Trek flagship comic book series continues this week. On Wednesday, May 15th, issue number 20 is released, continuing the Pleroma story arc. Here is the synopsis from IDW. Having revealed their true godlike identity, Talir is relying on Captain Sisko to help repair Kalis's damage to space-time and save their species from extinction. Despite the Prophet's eerie warning that Sisko is forbidden at the Pleroma, a meeting place for god-level species at intersecting space-time coordinates, he and his crew head to the Utopia Planitia Federation shipyards for a retrofit to the Theseus in preparation to boldly take on the unknown. Meanwhile, a mysterious figure from Section 31 approaches Lily with a mission, claiming the Federation's future is in her hands. Star Trek is written by Jackson Lansing and Colin Kelly, with issue 20's art by Megan Levins. And on Thursday, episode 8 of Star Trek Discovery's fifth and final season is released on Paramount+. Plus. The countdown to the final episode of the series is on. This week's episode is called Labyrinths, and here is Paramount's synopsis. When Captain Burnham is trapped within a mindscape designed to test her worthiness to retrieve the progenitor's powerful technology, Book, Rainer, and the crew of the USS Discovery must hold off the Breen long enough for her to escape. 
Labyrinths is written by Lauren Wilkinson and Eric J. Robbins and directed by Emmanuel Osei Kufor. We will, of course, have a review and live discussion show for the episode here on Kurt Rats Productions. Well, that's another week in Trek all done and dusted. Thank you so much to the Patreon supporters. Your help is very much appreciated. And to everyone else, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with someone you think might want a regular dose of weekly Star Trek news. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for news updates, weekly episode reviews, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, as always, live long and prosper.